Hello everyone. Welcome to another Inventor Part Design Tutorial. Today I will walk you through the process of designing this part. This is a knob with a knurled surface and turning handle. As shown in the picture, there are five commands. Actually, there are six commands. Those I am going to use for this project. Let's get started and stay tuned. First open inventor and next create new part file. Select standard part and then create. Go to origin, control select these three plane and make them visible. Go to home position and select XY plane and click on new sketch. Click on line command and let's first create the basic sketch to use the revolve command for the first step as shown in the picture revolve let's add dimensions make the height of the knob 10 and make this part 10 and the diameter of the knob is 44 millimeter so the radius is 22 and this part should be 10 millimeter and then go to 3d model click on revolve since there is only one sketch this sketch is selected by default and click on this line for the axis next click ok all right the first step is completed next we have to use the coil command to create the first groove to do that select XZ plane and click on new sketch click on center rectangle and at the top edge of the circle create the sketch exit rectangle command click on rotate and select the sketch click on center point and click this point it is asking if it is okay to remove constraint click yes and enter the angle 45 degrees click done now you can see this yellow circle is created by default click on this circle and make it constructions you can remove this uh, circle creating from using the settings but I have leave it as it is click on constraint click on equal constraint make two side equal click on coincident constraint click on this point and click on on the circle and the next click on vertical click on this point and click click the origin Do we need still two more dimensions in order to make this cons fully constrained click on this line and click on this and make sure the angle is 45 degrees next we need to add dimensions to one one side make it 0 0.75 millimeter let's go to 3d model click on coil command this coil command is not like spiral command or helix command in solidworks if you have come from solidworks background uh, you might get a little confused but this coil command is just like another extrude revolve sweep or loft command we can create or cut uh, material using this command now when when i click on this uh, coil command i can select the sketch and next i have to select the axis so the spir spiral would be created around this perimeter outer surface of the cylinder so i have to select the axis so it the axis would be y axis so i will go to model tab and select y axis before that you have to click on this box and make sure this blue line is there then you can select y axis and go back to the properties make the pitch 200 the height 100 
so this this figures i have realized by creating this one you have to just play around and see uh, how much you want this cut angle to the plane so if you if you think that this is good you can make pitch 300 so i will make it 200 so so just just try to understand when we add these details this will create a spiral in this way but we need only just little bit of that spiral to create this uh, coil coil cut so from here from the output make cut instead of extrusion now everything thing is set up click ok it create a sort of sweep cut along the spiral curve that we just created next go to circular cir circular command actually we have to use one more command here circular pattern command so i haven't added this one in this picture so totally there are six commands so when you click on this one the click on coil feature and for the axis select this surface for the quantity make it 80 and click ok now the second step is completed we have used coil command to go to the second step coil and circular pattern commands next click on mirror and click on circular pattern and coil and for the plane let's click on this plane click on the mirror plane and select this plane click ok now you would end up having the null shape on the surface Oops. here we go now we are in this third step at this third third step now let's create the hole using hole command to create the hole click on hole command and for the surface click on this surface and now we have to make it at the center so select this surface it will take the reference as the, the center it will create a hole at the center and for the, for the hole type click on tap hole and from the type make it metric m profile and for the size make it m10 and for the depth the termination you can make it 20 millimeter overall depth and click ok now you can see the threaded hole created at the center the next step is to create the turning handle in order to create turning handle go to home position and you can either select either one of these two plane to create the sketch for the turning handle I will select XY plane and click on new sketch and I will turn the model to make it easy for me to create the sketch and I will create a sketch to the shape of the turning handle first here we go and now I will I would like to add few constraints to make sure that this sketch would stay there so click on uh, horizontal constraint and click on this point and click on this point so that it will come up to the line and then I will add a dimension from this point to this line I will make it 18 millimeter so then drag this line little bit down and uh, keep it up and make this dimension from here to here 2 millimeter and this dimensions make 3 millimeter and make this dimensions 10 millimeter again 10 millimeter and here 25 millimeter now the sketch is fully defined go to 3d model click on revolve and the sketch is already selected click on this line for the axis and click ok now go to home command and go to this three plane right click make it make them invisible we don't because we don't need them so now we have created 
almost whole thing everything and just need to create a fillet around this edge and complete the project in order to do that click on fillet command make it two millimeter the radius and click on this edge and this three edge and click ok now let's change the home position make it front and click on this point and right click on the home command from this set current view as home select fit to view so now whenever you change it to the click on home it will be in, in this orientation finally you have to add material i will add material as uh, something like brass and click on save button and click save so the project is completed the design is done as per the workflow i hope you enjoyed this video and had a better understanding of how to use the command and create a design like this um, if you find this video is useful please hit hit on like button and also if you find my contents are useful please hit on subscribe button and click on bell icon so that you would be notified with my next video until then thank you everyone for watching